morning, everyone, and welcome to Urban Update. I'm Byron Barnett. On the show this morning, calls for boycotting the upcoming Academy Awards show grow over the lack of diversity of nominees. Boston Globe writer Marcella Garcia will join us for that discussion. Also on the program, protesters call for raising wages to $15 an hour for airport employees. We'll chat in studio with several who participated in the peaceful protest this past Monday. But up first, in its fifth year, a coalition comprised of Brockton's health care providers, community organizations, and businesses called Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes continues to partner together to combat a growing public health crisis in the state's seventh largest city, diabetes. Statewide health data show that Brockton has rates of hospitalization due to diabetes that are nearly twice the state average. Last year, this coalition of organizations led by the Old Colony YMCA in Stoughton secured a $1.2 million grant to fight diabetes and other chronic diseases in the communities of Brockton and Stoughton. To tell us more about the work going on in these two towns to fight the growing issue of diabetes, we've invited Albert Whitaker. He's director of Community Partnerships New England for the American Diabetes Association. Joyce Dwyer, Senior Vice President of Healthy Living and Membership Development for the Old Colony YMCA. And finally, Jennifer White, Vice President of Community and Public Relations for Harbor One Bank, a partner in several local projects that focus on basic human needs. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Thanks for having us. And Al, let, uh, Albert, let's uh, start with you. Um, let's talk about some of the, uh, the basic reasons behind this high rate of chronic disease and diabetes in Brockton and Stoughton, twice the uh, state average. Twice the state average. I would say that part of it is probably due to environmental issues, meaning that uh, lack of you know, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, lack of green spaces contribute, are strong contributing factors uh, toward uh, incidences of diabetes. In addition to that, uh, Brockton has a large uh, community of, of uh, people from other cultures. And, and part of that is that uh, there is this whole myth that the more you eat, the better you are, the more prosperous you are. And so with that being said, uh, it's almost considered to be um, not right if you were to you know, eat healthy or something like that. So rice, for example, or carbohydrate is a very main staple. And that is something that is you know, offered practically every day. Um, so I think that that with uh, some lack of education around uh, diabetes management or you know, what could um, you know, contribute to a healthier lifestyle are some of the contributing factors. And talk to me about, I guess, um, your journey about uh, how and why you set about uh, looking for strategic partners to raise awareness to this problem. Well, I think Brockton is unique in the sense that uh, there was a coalition of people that came together who saw the need that this incidence of diabetes really needed to be at least, we, let's make an attempt to eradicate it. And um, it wasn't just the health providers or the health entities uh, that, that rallied behind this, but we were able to get places such as Harbor One and the Y, as well as the American Diabetes Association, to come together and develop this coalition. And it's, it's you know, there's about 40 strong right now that are part of this, this initiative. And we are working to uh, eradicate this disease. Very impressive. Now, uh, Jennifer White, talk to me about what attracted Harbor One Bank to this coalition. Yeah, wondering why the bank is around. The, what does the bank have to <laughs> do with diabetes? Have enough, <laughs> aren't you enough busy enough, enough with mortgages? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but five years ago, my predecessor and others um, really went out and tried and did a needs assessment of what was facing the Brockton community. And diabetes was is was and is still a major health crisis. And if it's a community issue, then it was affecting um, our employees as well as our customers. So you know, five years ago, it was really important to Harbor One to be involved and sort of be able to convene folks around this issue. And today is the same thing. So we continue to host meetings, um, get our employees out, and really um, um, really be part of this coalition of, as Al mentioned, 40 plus strong, um, to really come together around an issue. But um, Brockton is a tight-knit community. We've been there almost um, nearly 100 years the bank has been there. And um, we feel strongly about really getting to the root causes of this issue. 
Now, uh, Joyce Dwyer, uh, I mentioned in our intro that uh, there's some good news in the fight against uh, diabetes uh, in Brockton. Um, talk to me about why the C CDC, the Centers for, Centers for Disease Control, contributed toward the coalition's efforts in this specific region. And I think some of it is what Al and Jen has already said, and that is is that you know there's definitely a need um, for for access to care and healthy living within Brockton, um, as well as just the the way that that city um, with with Stoughton at this point has come together to really collaborate and provide services throughout the city of Brockton and into Stoughton. Um, and I think it's that collective impact of having all of those folks around the table and the diversity of programs we've been able to offer over the last five years and continue to grow um, over the last five years um, has been recognized by the CDC. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Albert, uh, can you talk a little more about um I guess specifically about Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, uh, what it is and how people can participate. So Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes is a great event. It's a week-long event that usually takes place uh, in the month of June. Um, and what's unique about it is the city of Brockton is open to anyone who, you know, in the area that wants to learn more about diabetes. There are plethora of free activities uh, that are provided. So for example, I could go to the Y and have a free membership that week. Um, I could go and talk to a diabetes educator around healthy eating, things of that nature. Uh, there's Zumba classes. Um, there are things for, for people who are living with type 1. It's just a plethora of activities that are available to the community around diabetes. And it culminates uh, with a, a walk as well as a, a mini health fair. Uh, where people can actually be screened, um, get more information, celebrate the success of, Bro of Brockton and, and, and ce celebrate just living a healthier lifestyle. And Jennifer White, uh, talk to me about why, what do coalitions like this that bring such a um, diverse group of partners, what impact does that have on a community? Um, I think it's huge. Um, I think one of the things that we've really celebrated with this coalition is the idea of collaboration. Um, you know, when we talk about some of the environmental factors, access to transportation or healthy, healthy foods, these are complex problems and a single entity isn't going to sort of solve it. But when you bring um, a diverse group of people who can share their expertise and their resources together, um, you get better results. I think the other thing that we've um, learned is to look at, um, look at the community, see what's good, see what we can plug in. Don't, don't recreate the wheel. Um, but really sort of find things that are working. Um, last year during Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, we wanted to reach out to more kids. Um, so we partnered with a long-term road race, uh, kids road races, and as a result we were able to engage um, 300 more kids in our educational programs. So again, it's sort of finding what's good and plugging into that and um, as Al mentioned, sort of celebrating the community. And uh, Joyce, uh, what about the, um, what is this additional funding allowing the coalition to do to combat uh, the growth of diabetes? So this particular funding, which is referred to as REACH, which is Racial and Ethnic's Approach to Community Health, really has us look at the most vulnerable population in the city of Brockton. Um, we find that the population that we're serving with this grant has very limited access to any type of care or food or um, um, in, in physical activity. So collectively we all get together and we really help work with the face-based organizations to give these people more access to care um, and, and explain the disease process of diabetes. So therefore we've been doing screenings in churches so that people are aware that, di that, they, that they're predisposed to diabetes. And then we've been working on translation and um, interpretation. So we've been giving interpreters to help us with language barriers. We've been also working to translate material as well. And I see uh, you've got up on the screen there uh, diabetes and chronic disease screening uh, Sunday, February 7th at uh, St. Edith Stein at 71 mm -hmm. East Main Street mm -hmm. in Brockton. Um, Albert uh, Whitaker, you were saying that uh, this is, uh, you were in the fifth year of this um, Brockton um, Knocks Down Diabetes. I guess, have you, um, how do you feel about where it's going, the impact you've been having? 
Well, I see where we began, and I see where we're at now, and I think that that in itself speaks volumes. And by the fact that we have 40 some odd members of this coalition, uh, which is, and, and it's growing. And not only that, I would definitely say that I have even received, um, you know, questions from other communities. This is a great initiative. Can we model it? So I see it as growing, but I also see it as eventually becoming a national model for eradicating diabetes. And uh, just to wrap things up, just uh, what would you like to uh, say to the, the people in the, you know, Brockton, Stoughton, uh, the, the community, the greater Brockton area about this? It's a wonderful event. Come out. It's free, and I do stress free, but it's also a time where we can celebrate community and celebrate the health of our community. Okay, I'm going to leave it right there. Albert Whitaker, Joyce Dwyer, and Jennifer White, uh, Brockton knocks down diabetes. Yes, thank you. Great cause. All right. yes, thank you. Congratulations yes, on your fifth year. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, when we come back, we'll discuss the calls to boycott the Academy Awards because of the lack of nominees from communities of color in this year's edition. Right here, on Urban Update. Stay with us. We'll be right back.